dear students welcome to our virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai i am sri kumar the class is for fifth standard students subject is mathematics let us begin the class dear students we are entering into a new chapter chapter number 15 patterns patterns is uh, a common term for all of us we sometime talk about the pattern of uh, design on a cloth sometime on sari sometime on any other kind of dress we talk about the design on that and we use the term pattern sometime we talk about the pattern regarding uh, the rangolis that we make during uh, festivals sometime but by looking at the nature we talk about patterns and designs just look at the screen now behind that screen itself there are certain uh, structure like leaves structure leaves are there on those leaves you can see certain designs which we can see that it's a pattern i was trying to make you understand the concept of pattern pattern is a, a, a design which is repeated again and again so that we feel that this will be the next design this will be repeated this will be coming next i will make you understand this in a very simple way Uh, with the help of your own textbook and the explanations given over there why I, why i am depending on your textbook because your textbook is with you at any time anywhere because you don't need any uh, data for it data package for it you don't need any power supply for it. you can open your textbook and see so in order to explain the concept of pattern let me take you to your textbook where it is uh, shown with all those simple things and one of the things shown is about uh, the dots we make while making rangoli or any kind of design for example when i do it like this simply you can see that i have made a, a set of four in a definite length and definite distance and following a particular pattern if i say that what would be next you automatically you would say that so there will be another four dots in alignment with the given one correct the thing will be what will come next we will come to know. so that means i am following a pattern if i think about something else little different so these are two dots now you don't have any idea about what i am going to do it can be in any format but if i put one over here you will say that okay it looks like two dots and a dot in between and it looks like a uh, three dots connected it will look like a triangle or something like that you will come it will come in your mind and i put a dot over here you will naturally ask me mujhe batayenge aap idhar bhi ek dot dal de wo ek pattern develop ho jayega that means in that case i should put two more dots in between dots in the next line okay i will put here i will put here so ah, yeah this is good this is another pattern so what about next layer or if in, if i put one more dot where i should put the natural you will suggest me sir put it again between the gap it like this and if you put one more okay it looks again like a triangular format that means we have it within us hamare andar hai ye pattern ke concept by looking at uh, the sequence by looking at the picture by looking at uh, uh, the things around us we can see number of patterns i'm going to give you a few uh, images over here which will help you to understand yes pattern is there around while listening to my video if you look around you in in in, in the on the dress you are wearing or in the, um, the pictures around you or in the photographs around you you can see a number of uh, patterns are followed in that patterns are part of our life patterns are there in our mind patterns are there when we are making rangoli patterns are there when we are thinking about uh, the nature when we are thinking about the design on interest patterns are there if i keep on doing this it will be going on increasing like this okay here is pattern in our chess board a particular pattern is followed so that the chess board is unique and interesting understood so pattern is there everywhere around us now you will be thinking this what sir is going to teach whether it is mathematics or about uh, uh, designing the um, uh, dress or is it about uh, something different what is going to happen in mathematics class what is the connection between pattern and mathematics sorry it is very difficult to make you understand in this stage but i only i would say that pattern is there in mathematics also here is a wall having a particular pattern or design on that if you look thoroughly inside the brick wall you can see that a pattern is followed in the construction of it here i am simply making you familiar with the concept of pattern and your textbook is also doing the same 
I cannot go out of textbook and explain you what, uh, what is the concept or what is the connection between pattern and mathematics. But you understand here that the pattern is all over in the case of uh, arrangement of bricks inside the wall. There is a pattern followed. Am I right? So pattern is there everywhere. Here is another pattern. Concentric pattern or circular pattern it is. If you look at it, you can see that some reputation is there. You can imagine what will be the next thing, next layer would be. So pattern is having a particular sequence, a beautiful pattern that we can see on the leaf surface. A pattern is followed. If you ask, if you are asked to complete the figure, you will be completing it with what will be the next. So I said a word, what will be the next? So two things you keep in your mind. One, there is pattern. We can presume that what is next. A particular step is followed, a particular sequence is followed. We can presume that or we can complete that by writing or by drawing the next step. I said writing in between because the, the uh, feeling that I am in mathematics class and I am trying to make you understand patterns and my purpose is to connect it with mathematics. Maybe that is yoga writing again which may. तो क्या लिखने की बात होगा नेक्स्ट नंबर क्या होगा ये भी पैटर्न में आएगा इफ आई से वन थ्री फाइव सेवन आप बोलेंगे नाइन इफ आई से वन फोर नाइन सिक्सटीन आप जरूर बोलेंगे ट्वेंटी फाइव पैटर्न इज फॉलोड बिकॉज ऑल दिस आर स्क्वायर सो नंबर्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड नेक्स्ट विल बी थर्टी सिक्स ए पैटर्न इज फॉलोड सो पैटर्न इज कनेक्टेड विद मैथमेटिक्स ऑल्सो it helps us a lot this is from your textbook talking about the patterns on the tiles on the floor a pattern is followed correct and if you have something in your hand like this in your in your hand certain particular shaped structure you can make different patterns out of it if i arrange it in a particular way it will make a pattern i know that and you know that what what i will do next what what i will do with the next one so this way patterns are having a, a concept that it follows a sequence it help us to predict it help us to predict and there i am going to connect you with the, the mathematics behind the pattern in such a way that here is this beautiful sari with a beautiful pattern on that right so in the case of shapes in the case of designs we follow pattern and pattern help us to predict next pattern help us to solve a situation if you have time agar aapke paas time time nahi hai samat bol time to hai if you have time cut out from the cardboard this kind of designs it is from the textbook only and rearrange it and make your own pattern you can make your own pattern with the help of this kind of blocks blocks in the shape of h l and t and another shape is given and to make more pieces of this and rearrange itself and make different shapes and different patterns you need more number of such many pieces you have to cut out from a cardboard and join them in a pattern like floor tiles you can join it and make a continuous floor complete floor just like here is a floor picture shown with bricks and tiles we are making floor so we are following a pattern over there and it is can be done you can do it at home here is a question from your textbook what will be next draw complete this particular diagram you can see that you can see very clearly that how it happens in the case of the second line here up here down up down then what will be next we know that the round will be here and the pattern will be followed in such a way that the other will be here right you will do it in your textbook next pattern is asked here so if it comes to mathematics if i write 3 30 300 30 or something like that and if i write 5 5 50 a pattern is followed in the numbers also 
a particular pattern is followed where zero is added what happens on multiplication and if the same number with zero is added what happens in the multiplication pattern is followed look at this here I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and multiplied by certain numbers and I am getting beautiful pattern here don't by heart, don't learn this the concept over here is that we have pattern in mathematics too it helps us to predict it helps us to propose it helps us to solve certain situation it helps us to develop a common strategy common method to solve a situation we can predict it is sequential we can develop formula with the help of patterns so my dear students patterns are of great importance in mathematics you will be studying about algebra the next chapter is about introduction to algebra what is it where you will be using uh, alphabets just like shown here alphabets instead of uh, numbers in order to represent numbers you will use alphabets if you are using alphabets instead of numbers suppose that if you are m is equal to this is uh, the monthly rental of your mobile phone which I have marked as m m is equal to 200 rupees so for two months it will be 2m for three months it will be 3m and for uh, it will be 4m's and they can represent it like this and I have written m is equal to 200 rupees that means I converted mathematics into a letter and letter is defined here and it is following m, 2m, 3m, 4m, a pattern is followed so if you ask if there is after after 10 months you will be having 10 into m like or a 10 m it would be you got a pattern now this number and 1 m will be here as the amount very basic I am telling you so in algebra where we use letters to solve the sum letters to understand the sum in such a situation patterns are of great use in order to develop equation for solving solution so you neither know equation nor know what is algebra which you will be getting from next chapter onwards which is the last chapter of the year but my dear students a mathematics student should have high skill of observation you have it so you are listening to me and while observing you will observe pattern to when you will come to know that after 3 it is 9 after 9 it is 27 after 27 are you getting it? you will automatically say what is next number why? because you followed the pattern understood? and you develop an equation it obtained by 3 multiplied by 3 9 multiplied by 3 then it would be 27 multiplied by 3 and you will write it is n multiplied by 3 what is n? any number understood 3 into 3 9 9 into 3 27 you will again multiply with with 3 that way you will keep on writing and you will write 81 then again you will multiply with 3 so you will follow the pattern because you can could understand the pattern you could understand the sequence you could understand the maths behind it so all these get connected this is the purpose of making you familiar with the concept of pattern at this age and stage why because in the case of mathematics observation and understanding the pattern understanding the sequence and conclusion from that making solution from that making formula from that is a very common and important thing so my dear students there is no much exercise in your textbook but you will you will simply observe the pattern around you patterns in nature patterns in the designs of the clothes around you patterns in the numbers patterns around you that is the purpose of the chapter please do it thank you now click on the subscription button below to subscribe the channel then the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos thank you